What's up everybody? In this video I want to talk about etymology and symbolism and how it's pretty much being used against us as an assault. And if you look at words, we'll start with etymology, there's all kinds of interesting thing in there. Like mortgage, what's the root word of that? Morgue or indoctrination, doctor. You know, just weird shit like that. We're casting spells, basically, and making agreements that we're not aware of. And as for symbolism, um, you notice that corporate logos, you see Saturn a lot. You see uh, the cube. The, what, Saturn moon matrix black cube. Um, crescent moon, you see a lot. And uh, everyone's good old favorite. What do you think of when you see that? Illuminati. Well, don't. <laughs> um, I was guilty of that for years. Every time I saw a freaking triangle, I thought of the Illuminati. And you know what? That We're giving our power up when we do things like that. Because the triangle and pyramids, those are really powerful symbols. And they have so many different meanings to them. Like the triangle could be mind, body, spirit, father, son, holy ghost. And you could just keep going on with that. The one I like is I'm kind of a dualistic thinker. I mean, I do believe everything's one, but you do have polarity there. And I really like the balance in the middle because you got, uh, I have positive, negative, and then you could rise up from that into a perfect balance in the middle. And there's your triangle. Um, yeah, that's why I like the balance because, I mean, fire, ouch, dry ice, ouch, room temperature. So, <laughs> that's what it means to me. So now when I see the triangle, I think of that instead of the Illuminati, so I'm not giving my power away on that. And I think it's definitely you should learn the meanings of things, and if you don't like what it means and you're seeing it everywhere, uh, create your own meaning to it. You know, take your power back like I did with the triangle. Make up your own shit. And if you keep, you know, uh, putting that plant and seeds into your brain, you'll eventually make a samskara. What a samskara is, is a mental impression or a psychological imprint. Because it's uh, believed that we have a collective subconscious. So the symbols that we see affect us all in the same way. So I'm thinking if you make a samskara that's deep enough in your brain that you could basically override that. So the symbol won't, their symbols won't affect you in a negative way. They'll just mean what you think they mean. So that's my opinion on that. That's what I like to do with all that because it's crazy. You can see in freaking everything that the symbolism um, start looking at words, the root words and uh, prefix and suffixes of things and what they actually mean. And you'll start seeing how we're uh, basically casting spells, like I was saying earlier, and making agreements, things we're not aware of. And I always thought that was really weird how mortgage is more, you know. I, I don't know why, but look into that. There's just so such a psychological assault on us today. So the more we know the more we can, you know, not be affected by it and have our own thing going on. Like with the Illuminati thing, stop doing that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that might be all I wanted to say. Uh, triangle, etymology, samskara. But yes, um, fight the psychological assault and create your own samskara and have a good day. <laughs>